Smartwatches have become pretty ubiquitous, but Samsung has come up with one of the most unique takes on the wearable technology. I've been wearing the Gear S2 from Samsung for several weeks now, and I'm finding that I like what they did with this watch. One thing that I find depressing about smartwatches is that a lot of them look like computers strapped to your wrist. The Samsung Gear S2 breaks away from the pack with its sleek round face. It's a smartwatch that looks more like um, a watch. The design is clear and familiar, but it's still futuristic. It reminds me of the 1980s, 1990s Swatch watches, but with more functionalities besides telling time. Samsung dives deeper into the circular theme with a unique rotary navigational ring. Spin the bezel clockwise to move forward and browse through your apps. Spin it counterclockwise to view your notifications. Of course, you can also swipe across the Super AMOLED touchscreen to view various apps from the Tizen App Store. Apps that allow you to track your heart rate, view notifications, change your watch faces, as well as listen to music via Bluetooth headphones. You can check your heart to see if it's still beating, or you can count your steps, check the weather, or check your schedule. Apart from the touchscreen and the bezel, the Gear S2 has two physical buttons. The top one functions as the wake up button, tap the bottom one, and it brings you back to the home screen. The flexible rubber strap is available in different colors. Replacing it is a snap. Simply press the button at the back of the watch and slide out the strap and simply slide a new strap in to anchor it. As cool as it is, the Gear S2 is not for everyone. If you fancy making a wristwatch phone call like Dick Tracy, this is not the watch for you because the Gear S2 does not have a speaker phone. The Tizen App Store also has a limited number of apps compared to the other app stores. Simply put, the Gear S2 provides a dialed-down digital connection for people who don't want their watch to be a distraction to their lives. 